Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7. In today's episode, we are going after this guy, which is Springman. Yes, Wily was probably on drugs when he thought of this guy. The stage is fun music though. And the fun thing with the springs. Yeah, imagine that, springs in a stage but with the Robot Master being called Springman. So this is, I don't know, they never really established what this place is. As far as I'm concerned, it sort of looks... No, no, no! Seriously? Seriously? Did not die until this point, and then I die like that. That just sucks. No, no, th this feels bad. I'm, I'm legitimately pissed off right now. I mean, fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. Seriously. What the fuck? Alright. Anyway. Oh, yay. More and more stupid jumps. Just die, springs. You don't belong in this world. Okay. 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 No. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. No, I'm falling. I have a fallen and I can't get back up. Or something like that. How does the face say it? You know, the Mario face. There we go, that's how you get that life. It's really easy actually. It's a slinky. Must kill the slinky. More slinkies. Slinkies are evil. Upside down slinkies don't even make sense. You deserve death. You deserve everything that's coming to you. You deserve anything, everything that I'm about to do to your pathetic life. I've gotten more uh, energetic, I guess, since last episode, in which I tried to remain calm, which I actually did not do all that well. I guess the only moments at which I can really stay calm is never. So that's a thing. Um... About the stage, it contains one of the better secrets, in my opinion. This room is not one of them. Um, it's a secret that allows you to get a few items. That allows you to get an item that you can only uh, get. It's, you know, it's not the item that you find in this stage, but it will unlock an item in a different manner. Now, if I could just make that jump. No, 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 don't fall. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna use the super adapter for this. Super adapter, rush, go! Aha, fusion! Nope. That's the only downside of the super adapter is bouncing. Oh, hey, extra life. Yay, got an extra life. Let's turn this thing around, because that wall looks suspicious. But we can't do anything about it. But this thing can! Aha! See that thing over there? That is... The Hyper Bolt! Yes, it's the thing that, th that um, Otto was talking about when we were talking about the fact that he uh, misses a bolt and he has a few screws loose. Ha ha ha! Very funny jokes. And um, what it really comes down to is it allows you to buy a few extra items in the uh, in Otto's shop, you know, in, at Big Eddie's as it's called, since the shop is a big eddy. And that's really fun. Um, so this will allow us to... But this will... We will be able to give Otto his, uh, his bolt back, and he will be back to perfect uh, ability. And he can make stuff. He can uh, make very important uh, items, in fact. He can make a very cool upgrade for a Mega Man. Uh, an upgrade that's made specifically for the um, the super adapter. He can also make, well basically all items Auto can make you can find in stages. Um, so there are two ways of getting the items. I will, sh I will most probably buy them in this playthrough and then make a bonus episode in which I show you how to find them in their actual stages. I mean, I've already gotten a few that you can... Basically all of them. Except for the R, U, S and H blades. So there's a spring man. He does that and you slide to evade. 
Then you do that, and he shoots springs. And the springs die. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah. The springs usually die with one charged shot, but then you do have to hit them. No, not again. Don't let uh, Spring Man grab you. That's really the worst thing you can have happen to you. I mean, you saw how much damage he just did to me when he managed to grab me. He will always punch twice, shoot his little springs out, jump at you to uh, trying to grab you while the springs bounce around, and then he will go back to the middle and start over. But this time he did not because he died, so that's good. Jump and slide, jump and slide. No slide, too bad. Boobly balls. I love that sound. I, I really love that sound. It, I don't know. It's, it just sounds fun. The wild coil launches one coil forward and one coil backward, right? Yes, but remember to charge the coils to make them jump higher. So basically this is one of the first and only Mega Man powers that he gets that you can actually charge up. The Wild Coil. Uh, in case you were wondering um, if you were having trouble with Spring Man, his weakness is actually Slash Man's weapon, but we have not defeated Slash Man yet. Um, let's see which other ro let's first go to go to auto bring him his uh, hypervolt back Can I skip this yes, I can good a Take that That's my bolt. Thanks. It fits perfectly Screwing it in there we go Yeah Robot Master stands. Do we have to fight him now? Nope. Now I can work at full power. Look, a new item just for you. I can now make items using half the normal number of bolts. Select the item you want made. So either he was really inefficient before or he's really efficient now. So the items we uh, can get that are new are the Hyper Rocket Buster. The Energy Equalizer, Rush Search, Rush Jet, both of them we already have because we found them in the stage. Uh, an S-Can, it will replenish both uh, your energy and your weapons, all of them. So that's cool. We can now get the Exit Module for only half the price. And there is this, the, uh, I already talked about this, the Equalizer makes it so that no matter which... I'll just let Auto explain. It will charge the weapon with the lowest energy level when you pick up a weapon capsule. That is not entirely true though. If you have a weapon equipped, that weapon will get priority. However, if you have no weapons equipped or the weapon you have equipped is at full power, then the equalizer will do its job. Now the Hyper Rocket Buster. It enables the Rocket Buster to go further. And not only that, but it will also enable it to home in on enemies. So that's really, really neat. I keep forgetting that you have to press the other direction to move to an item. If I want to go to the exit module, I have to press the right button. And if I want to go to the beat whistle, I have to press the left button. So I always get confused with that. So, you know what? Let's not grab the exit module. And let's instead just focus on actually getting everything in their actual state. So I don't have to make bonus episodes. Saves me work. Anyway, we want to do one more boss. At least I think we do. Right? Yes. Why don't we? Um, let's go for Slashman. Slashman's fun. And I pretty much promised Slashman last episode. So Slashman. He kind of looks like an animal. This is the first robot thing that actually resembled an animal. Oh crap, it's Jurassic Park. Oh no. Oh no, it's a dinosaur robot. Ha. Huh. Weak. Yay, a barrel. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Oh, oh we only, uh, we nearly missed that. No, more of those things from Cloud Man's stage. I do not want more dinosaurs. Let's skip him because he's an asshole. 
stop moving. Stop moving. I love this music. It's so much fun. Wake up, Mr. Dinosaur with a platform on his back. Go! He's kind of like Yoshi, except totally not. He's basically a moving platform. Just be careful because he will jump off and you have to jump off of him to go on to the next one. Which is fun. Run, little dinosaur, run! Run, Forest, run! Yay, I made a movie reference. Uh, I don't care about anything. Up there. No! Sniper Joe, you shall not best me! Oh yeah, you can go down here, I believe. Yeah, that's really nothing useful there. That's the, normally the way to get back up. Come on, Sniper Joe. Shoot at me. I challenge thee. There we go. Why did you take my challenge? Are you an idiot or something? Oh no, more de- Oh, what the heck? No! No! It's a giant T-Rex! Let's wait for it to slowly walk towards us and fire at its jaw because its jaw is its weak point. Ah, you made me waste that energy pellet. Take that in your jaw. You're not a di you're not a dragon. You're not supposed to, you know, breathe fire. There we go. Nope, didn't drop anything. Too bad. Let's climb up. Hey, look, it's a forest. Do you guys remember what Proto Man told us? He told us to use the fire weapon in the woods. But we don't have a fire weapon. So, we can't. Oh, no, no, I hit that. Oh, bees. The bees. Now, the fun thing is, I believe you don't necessarily need... Let's see if I'm right. Apparently, I am not right. No, you do need the fire weapon. Too bad. Oh well, we'll uh, take a look at that later once we have a fire weapon. Oh look, they're baby dinosaurs! Except that they're robots, so they're evil. Robots are automatically evil. So Dr. Light said they were the robots were rampaging through the middle of the city, right? What does a Jurassic Park do in the middle of a city? Sense none. It's Slash Man. Slash Man's a quick little bugger. Ouch. And he slashes. Ouch. Stop being a quick little... No. I do have his... No, no shit. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. If I don't die, which I probably will, I will use his weakness on him because honestly, there is really no point in fighting Slash Man without his weakness unless you're in it for the pain or the amazing challenge. I'm alive still. Yay, he's frozen. Then he does more of that. Just stay in a corner. I believe that's the safest bet. No! Okay, never mind. I'm dead. Great. <sighs> so let's just equip Freeze Cracker again. Yes, this is the first Robot Master and probably the only one really that I will use his weakness on. Well, except sort of for um, Burst Man, but then again, Burst Man's weakness is the Mega Buster itself, so yeah. Um, fun fact about uh, F Slash Man, he's actually weak against one more weapon. Both Slash Man and Burst Man are weak to multiple weapons. In the case of Slash Man, he is, as you can see, weak to... Freeze Cracker, incredibly weak to it, in fact. Um, and he's weak to one more weapon. Burst Man is actually weak to... No, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ouch. Okay, there we go. Much easier. Burst Man is actually weak to three weapons. Which includes Freeze Cracker and the Mega Buster. And the other weapon is the same weapon that Slash Man is actually weak against. Which is kind of funny. Anyway, we have Green. The Green Power. We are environmentally friendly right now. The slash claw cuts things apart, doesn't it? Yes, but it has limited range. Well, that's quite obvious. It's a slash. It's not like you're firing a projectile like most other weapons. Anyway, we get slash claw. So, password, we don't care. 
and that is really it for today's episode. So we only have two more Robot Masters left. That should prove fun. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye later, farewell.